Tromso, Norway is in the top five most populous cities above the Arctic Circle, which means there is plenty to do here. After arriving by bus last night, we're setting out to explore as much as we can. Today is our first day in the Arctic town of Tromso. Just in the first couple minutes, I'm noticing that Tromso is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. We were used to like small towns like we were doing in Finland. Here we have the Tromso Cathedral, not to be confused with the Arctic Cathedral. That is like the really famous one on the other side of the bridge. This one is here. It's a Protestant place of worship and yeah, it looks really pretty. Google Maps is telling us that it can seat 600 people. It looks like it was built in 1861, probably opened in 1863, and there's something with the year 1944. Maybe when they closed and maybe it's for tourists now. And yes, we are here when there's like basically no daylight. So there's actually no time where the sun rises and the sun sets. We just kind of get this little like dusk thing for a few hours so we had to sprint out of our hotel and get the most out of this dusk that we possibly can it's like 11 30 right now and it this is like how light it is so it looks like there's a lot more rich history than it just closing in 1944 that's not what happened i was doing some research apparently tromso was affected by world war ii there was some bombing here and so I tried to translate the sign. I think it said that this was a place for evacuees so that they could come here and be safe. We're walking up on the statue now. I don't know what it is or what it's gonna say, but I wanted to learn more about the city. So let's find out. That was a statue of a Norwegian explorer. I still haven't figured out exactly what he did. We're gonna walk on the water now. And you can't really tell because it's super foggy. <laughs> if you can't tell, that is all water. I know it just looks like fog, but there's water in there somewhere. Troll museum. Hurry, Jenny. They have trolls. Yes, the Scandinavians do really love their trolls. Who can blame them? They sound kind of cute. Actually, trolls are kind of evil. No, they don't sound cute. They sound evil. Tomorrow we will be getting on one of these boats to go and hopefully find some orcas. I'm kind of nervous because it's super foggy and there's not a lot of daylight so I'm not totally sure how it's gonna work but they do this all the time so I'm sure they have it figured out. We stopped by this pizzeria just to look at the menu. We have to find out all of our options and we've learning that there's a lot of pizza places here. Northern Lights Cruise with hot tub and dinner. <gasps> I know that's gonna be expensive, but I wanna do it. I wanna do it, I wanna do it, I wanna do it. That does sound expensive, especially because it says luxury sailing adventures. Oh, the hot tub is right behind me. You can see the steam coming off of it. Okay, I might wanna do that too. I love being by the water. This is why I was so excited to come to Norway and Tromsø was to just be on the water and see the fjords. And in a few days, we are actually going to Samaroy, which is not so much city. It's just like, we're gonna stay right on the fjord. We're gonna be right on the water and I'm really excited for it. The public transportation looks pretty good. There's a lot of buses in this area. So eventually we're gonna figure that out and try to see if we wanna take a bus to wherever we wanna go. One of the things I was like weirdly most excited for when coming to Tromso was to see the world's tiniest bar. And they actually claim that they are the tiniest bar in the universe, which is a lot bigger than the world. So we're gonna walk across the bridge to the Arctic Cathedral and then we're gonna come back here and get my favorite hot wine. And it's actually pretty cheap. They have bratwurst and hot dogs like lamb and beef for only $5, which is extremely good in Tromso. Yeah, $5 does seem like a pretty Pretty decent price because we're just walking around every restaurant that we kind of pass by we look at the menu 
and things look really expensive. Like we walked by some place by the water and it said it was $25 for a plate of fish and chips. There's these little signs everywhere that tells you like what the building is and why it's significant, but they're all in Norwegian. So I just use Google Translate and usually in a few seconds it'll tell me. The love for Tromso, it's, it's the people's house. And I guess there was a famous author that lived here in the early 1900s. That one's me, that one's Jenny. It's so loud and foggy here. I mean, you feel safe because there's like some railing, so like it's not like a car's gonna hit you. The fog was pretty intense and we could hardly see a thing off of this bridge, but we got some amazing views of the city in the following days. We're just so long. We can't even see the end of it. We literally cannot see the end. It looks like we've made it to the top of the bridge. You go downhill that way and downhill that way. So I think we're halfway there. Also, this fog is so insane. You can't see anything out there. It's just water for miles and miles or kilometers and kilometers, but you can't see anything. After about a 15 to 20 minute walk on the bridge, we are approaching the church. Looks like you just walk on this road and you go up the hill. Walking up another hill to get to the church. We made it to the Arctic Cathedral. It is very pretty. Looks like they have like a lot of concerts here. As I'm looking at this board, they're like, da 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 da, at Arctic Cathedral concert. I was looking to see if we could come inside and check it out, but it looks like they're closed. Looks like it opens up at like one or two o'clock. We found a little bit of snow. It's December, so I thought there would be tons of snow, but this is the only snow we've seen so far. We made a discovery. We found another one of these things. This one says it is the Ice Sea Cathedral which is pretty cool when we're on the sea and it's cold so it makes sense and uh, it was built in 1965 and then this other one here said that it was awarded the diploma for excellent architecture and uh i can see why this is the back side i think the front side looks a little bit better we found some cute houses here which i think i like this side of tromso across the bridge better than the actual city that is like really congested but i really like seeing like the style of houses in different places and these are cute We've been noticing there's a lot of hair salons and barber shops. So many, like I don't think I've, I, we just walked past three in like a five minute period. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because of the streets we're walking down or what, but yeah. There's a lot of them. They look really nice too. It's like, <laughs> it's like 1 p.m. right now and it's like completely dark. But that's okay, we're gonna warm up our hands with the world's tiniest bar right there. Sorry, universe's tiniest bar. Hot wine, here we go. <laughs> I was looking to see how much the hot wine is, but it says right next to it, it is illegal to write the price of alcohol in Norway. So I guess we're gonna ask how much it is. That's really interesting. Choose the hot wine. It's 85. 85, okay. Well, just, you do you want just, one? Just, just no. one. Yeah. yeah. And then you have to stay here on the platform or on the fire pit. Okay. Oh, that feels so good. My hands are so cold. Norway has some very strict alcohol laws we've been noticing. We ran quickly to the grocery store last night just to look at what they had and they said you cannot buy alcohol 
after 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and before 8 a.m. and then on Sundays you cannot buy it at all and at the grocery stores it's the same as Finland they only had like very very low percentage of alcohol things that you could buy there there wasn't any wine or liquor or anything you have to go to a totally separate store for that and then while we were here, the lady said you have to stay on the premises while you're drinking the wine. The wine is very good. It's not exactly the same as most of the mold <laughs> wine I've had. It's, it's got a, maybe it's a little bit sweeter or like it has a little zest to it. Like it doesn't taste that much like wine, but it's really good and it's warming on my hands, which is exactly what I needed it to do. We decided to get a pizza buffet. It's about $15 per person and from what I gather, you can have all you can eat pizza and then there's like a little salad bar here too. I wanted a little treat, so we got some sour candies at the store. <laughs> okay, so we have to scan our receipt to leave the grocery store. Hurry, Jacob. You might not make it. We're still finding our way around Trump, so we are big fans of the water, and that's what we're gonna be doing in our next video, so we will see you out there.